Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is Lisa, and this is Lisa 6 and 3. And here is God's strength for you this day. Our scripture reading is coming from Nehemiah 8. Uh, let's start at number 9. And Nehemiah, who was the governor, Ezra, the priest and scribe, and the Levites, who taught the people, said to all the people, this day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Be still, for the day is holy. Do not be grieved. And all the people who went their way to eat and drink, um, to send portions and rejoice greatly. And all the people went their way to eat and drink, to send portions and rejoice greatly, because they understood the words that were declared to them two things here several things here uh, so the Levites taught the people the word we all got a job to do the, today's heading joy joy they were crying and weeping because of all the heaviness that, that, that the governor was put all the laws that were in place they did. They it was like, man, how are we gonna abide by all these laws? So the Levites said, "Look, today is holy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. What is the joy of the Lord? The comfort in knowing. I've been saying this all week. The comfort in knowing that God has everything under control. Your joy is shown." When things are hard and you're smiling and people's like, how can she be smiling when the world is falling apart around her? It's him or her. It's because you understood the words that were declared to you. Do you understand the words that is declared to you every day? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Do you understand that? Ah. And then you got to go and feed other people who don't have food, who doesn't have water, don't have no sweet bread. So you supposed to, you supposed to be joyful as well. And then go and give it to somebody else. Today's thought. Today is holy. The joy that you have. God's strength is there for you. The joy of the Lord. His joy is your strength. We don't have joy on our own. It's His joy that's our strength. And you got to understand the words. Understand the words that's coming out of the mouth of God. He says, His joy is your strength. My grandma sang a song. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world can't take it away. It's the joy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now you go, make it a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you Monday morning. Be blessed.